These barriers happen. Sometimes when a relationship ends, people are so emotionally invested in the relationship that they start moving funny towards the children. And children don't ask to be here, people. They didn't listen. Ain't none of our children asked to be here. So once our kids get here, whatever beef you got with the other person because y'all not together no more, you have to set that shit aside now. Like, your love for your child has to be way, way better than the hate you got for the person that you're not with no more. It's all, it should be all about your children, people. At some point, people got to come to that understanding and understand kids do not ask to be here, man. Now, I get it. Everybody, some people deal with some ain't shit people. That's common, man. This is re reality. Everybody don't have the sense. Everybody don't have the emotional restraint. Everybody don't have it. We, I understand this. This is not no everybody is a good person type thing. We not, we understand that. Some people are good. Some people are bad. That's life in all cultures, in all races of people. And, you know, being in the black community, I see it more with us because I'm in the black community. I'm not in these other neighborhoods to know. So this is me to every race that's going out here right now that you're not able to see your kids, man. My prayer is up to you. But we got to come up with a solution. And I feel like joint custody should be mandatory. If you're in a relationship and your relationship don't work, it should be mandatory that both parents get 50-50 when it comes to the kids. Time and income, period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Unless, like I said... Some people are mentally unstable. I get that. Some people ain't got their mental health in check. Some people are emotional and they act out. They have no self-control when they're emotional. When you got when you're dealing with a partner like that, then yes, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. You dig what I'm saying? It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. But we're talking about level-headed people. We talking about there's so many people out here right now who have high school diplomas. Some people got college degrees, all of that. They know what 2 plus 2 is, 4 plus 4, 6 times 6. They know how to count to 10 using their fingers. But they don't know how to make sound decisions when it comes to their children. You see what I'm saying? They will keep their children away from the other parent when the other parent is trying to be in the children's life. But they know how to count to 30, though. At some point, we got to realize, is education more important than common sense? Like, come on, man. How do we... Kids need both parents, man. The DNA is shared. The man's DNA is in the kid. The woman's DNA is in the kid. And women, y'all got to pipe down. Pipe down. I get it. Women, you carry those kids for nine months in your belly. And then for some reason, when you have the kid, it's just yours. Oh, you ain't get to take my child. It ain't just yours. You ain't make that baby by yourself. Without that man's sperm, you can't make a baby. Yes, you are the host. You have to carry the baby. Yes, you do. Women, we get it. We understand it. We get it. It comes out. It's in your belly. We get it. But without us, you can't have it. So when the baby comes out, it's both of the people's baby. You got to stop saying, you can't, you're, you're not going to take my child. It's not yours. It's both of y'all's. It's, you should always say our child. It shouldn't be no my child. And I hear, and I say this because women do this all the time. Men don't be running around talking about, you're not about to take my kid. That, that, no, it's ours. It ain't no my. This ain't Johnny Gill. My, 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 my. No, it ain't no, this ain't no Johnny Gill, bro. This, when you have a kid with another person, it's both of y'all's child. So it be, it's ours. You understand what I'm saying? We got to figure this out, man. This is really, this is a, this is very problematic, man. And we need to pay more attention to this. Before I get out of here, man, understand. Go to Eventbrite. Search La Truth. Search La Truth. You will see Eventbrite tickets for my event that I'm having on February the 8th, next Thursday. You understand what I'm saying? R&B Night. La Truth's R&B Night. To artists out there, if you want to perform, go to latruthsrnbnight.com. Submit your music. You understand what I'm saying? I'm giving, I'm giving artists opportunity. R&B artists. I know my food getting cold. I got a microwave right there. I'm going to put that mug right back in there. This is a very important conversation, man. Some of y'all, like I said, y'all can't focus enough on what this topic is about. Y'all here and there. Y'all, some of y'all in here repeating rumors that you heard. Y'all just like, it's, it's so toxic in our culture, man. Black people, focus. Focus on the task at hand. 